Hi, previous video we have learned this reference error type part 2 which is object. Now today we are going to learn this about this part 3 that the reference error type part 3 which is function. So we are going to learn this and explain that function and how it works. The function is a block of organized that used this as a reusable and the code that is used to the perform single and the related action. So we are going to create in here the let's create a function and let me show you that in the an example that is which is function can be calculated basically product or two numbers of anything else and the declare a function in javascript use the function keyword and for example you can see one here an example that is function and the product you have written this to product that is a and b and the return will be the a a into here this a into b so it will be total of this total a b of the product so now let's start this video and we'll be do the practical about over here You can say I have opened my VS Code Studio now here and to create a file on our JS folder. Make sure you have selecting that folder and then creating here the file which is function.js. So I'm creating that file this is function.js and save this file. Okay, I have a spelling mistake over here. Let me rename it. Okay, that's it. After creating function.js file, now let's hide this the left side of window. Now connecting that this file or not in this file. So here this is our index file we have to connect that, that our function. Function dot says we have connected this file and save this file. Now open this file with the live server one here. Open with the live server and there you can see the view over here. Now just simply click on your right click over your mouse and select that inspection mode and go to your console. So there you can see this is the perfectly loaded our script over here. Now let's go to back our coding studio and select that the function.js file. Now we have to write in that function. You know that basically for the function write function coding for the data type. It is basically using for the function keyword. Now let's write this function keyword. Then function keyword and then we have to write in that function name. So here I'm just going to write in a simple which is hello. And then we have to take the function. Then take a space and open the curly braces over here. Now we are going to do the console that this function over here so it is console dot log and then it is a text basically so we are going to using that the screen over here so here writing that hello and then okay I have this double o it is a double l so it is done now terminate this now save this file if we are going to check out over here so you can see there is no result is ever showing there because we haven't passed the parameter of the hello now let's pass the parameter of this hello and then take a function over here and then terminate it now save this file now back to our browser now you can see it has printed that hello because we have successfully print this pass this parameter over here for our function name and this is successfully parses and pass this and now it was perfectly worked for the console and this is basically print the hello over there now let me give you that another example over here another example so let's take the function keyword over here and then I'm taking the uh, something over here so I'm taking like product okay let me take the product over here the function name and then inside of this product function you have to add the product name so here I'm just going to write in here this a comma b it is there's two product which is a and b then take a space and open curly braces over here now it will be the return we're going to providing that a uh, parameter pass which is calculation over here so it is we're going to passing over here a into b so it will be calculate that is complete it will be multiply that a and b of the product over here now let's check out over here this now we're going to taking that variable over here the let x and then is x equal to we're going to taking that product over here this is our function name so which is product now copy this over here now paste it one here okay it just take the full line of code now just let me remove it over here and i just need to copy one this the function name now copy it and enter here now here we just need to see provide the value of our product for inside of this function so for example i'm going to taking it which is that's for i'm going to taking the cost of the prices over here so I'm just going to take it for this 20 and this is product is 20 and and the one this product name is which is price is 30. So this is the price over here. Now terminate this. Now we're going to do that console and then log 
and then open function over here now we just need to provide that our function name over here our variable which is x now copy the text from here now paste it over into a console function now terminate this line over here now just save it and back to the browser okay it was showing there is something error over here okay now let's check out the what was the mistake over here okay you can see here a bug also showing there and there is a some of this stuff did underline over here so it is will be late because we have copied from there there's actually the product name then it was completely it was back to paste here over this complete of this text so you have to make it here the let which is our let code for the variable now save it and back to here and you can see it is 600 which is that our price is over here 20 and 30 so it was total of this multiplying over here so this total two prices multiplying over here and it was totally 20 and multiply 30 it is exactly 600 now if we are changing that value for over here so if we make it here this 20 and 10 okay sorry 20 and 100 and save it now back to over here and you can see it was 2000 so this is basically how you can do the practical over the function over here so this is a basic function and this is the calculative some parameter function where you can multiply something or you can plus or whatever you are going to if you are doing the plus over here then you can also using here the plus icon over here and save it now just back to over here and you will find here this is the total price which is 120 so you can just pass the parameter over here whatever you want to do the calculation over here you can do plus minus multiply or you can show the divided option or whatever you want so you can do that practically over here so this is total of this tutorial about the function how you can use that function and how the function is basically work over there so i have tried to understand the every process so if you are still having any inquiry or if you are still having an understanding anything over here so you can give me on the comment section below i will definitely try to give you the answer and what is the exactly and how you can do that so if you enjoyed this video please like on it and share it with your friends and please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any tutorial from us thank you so much for watching the video